Details regarding the AMD AM5 desktop platform, which will be powering future Ryzen CPUs and APUs, have been leaked out by Executable Fix. The AMD AM5 platform will compete directly against the Intel 600 series platform, with both being the first to offer DDR5 memory support to customers. According to the leak, the next generation AMD AM5 socket will be the biggest platform upgrade in several years for Team Red. The AM4 socket has lasted four generations of Zen architectures, starting with Zen, Zen Plus, Zen 2, and the existing Zen 3 parts. And if you wanted to get real technical, it even supported the older bulldozer based CPUs with the uh, last generation of, or seventh generation of APU. So it's pretty cool there. So five, technically, five? Pretty good, pretty good life support for a single socket. But starting with Zen 4, AMD will have its brand new AM5 platform ready to support future Ryzen desktop CPUs and APUs. And one of the biggest changes mentioned on the AM5 platform is the switch from PGA socket to the LGA socket. The AM5 platform will feature the LGA 1718 socket and the name suggests well, it'll comprise of 1,718 pins that will make contact with the CPU. It's actually 18 more pins than Intel's LGA 1700 socket, which will support the next generation Alder Lake CPUs. That would mean that we won't see any more Ryzen desktop chips with pins beneath them, but instead, we would see contact pads similar to those underneath Intel desktop CPUs or the Threadripper lineup. AMD's already on LGA on their big boy chips. Now the other features of the AM5 platform include the brand new 600 series chipset lineup. The X670 PCH is supposedly going to be the flagship offering, replacing X570, obviously. The X670 motherboards will feature support for dual channel DDR5 memory with native speeds starting at 4800 megatransfers per second and going all the way up to 10,000 megatransfers per second. Now as hinted by DRAM manufacturers anyway, so that's something I have to wait for them to come out to see what their official supported list is. Now, one thing that's interesting is that the platform is going to stick with the PCIe Gen 4.0 support and not move to PCIe Gen 5 like Intel's Alder Lake CPU lineup. PCIe Gen 5.0 is only going to be supported by Genoa, but it looks like future AM5 platforms will include the tech if AMD sees the need for it to be promoted on next generation graphics cards and storage solutions. Now for a quick recap of everything we know about AMD's upcoming AM4 or Raphael Ryzen Zen 4 desktop CPUs. The next generation Zen 4 based desktop CPUs will be codenamed Raphael and it will replace the Zen 3 based Ryzen 5000 series desktop CPUs which are codenamed Vermeer. Now from the information we currently have, Raphael CPUs will be based on the 5 nanometer Zen 4 core architecture and will feature 6 nanometer IO dies in a chipless design. AMD has hinted at upping the core counts of its next generation mainstream desktop CPUs, so we might expect a slight bump from the current maximum of 16 cores and 32 threads. The brand new Zen 4 architecture is rumored to deliver up to 25% IPC gains over Zen 3 and hit clock speeds of around 5 GHz. Now that Raphael De Ryzen desktop CPUs are also expected to feature RDNA 2 onboard graphics which means just like Intel's mainstream desktop lineup, AMD's mainstream lineup will support iGPU graphics. And the Zen 4 based Raphael Ryzen CPUs aren't expected until late next year, so late 2022, so there's still a lot of time left before launch. Now, the lineup will compete against Intel's Raptor Lake 13th generation desktop CPU lineup. And I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like what you've seen here and you like getting news daily, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. And if you've missed out on news in the past and you want to catch those, check out one of these videos over here.